Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hithal. And today we're making a very simple chicken pulao. We have a, a little over a pound of chicken over here, approximately half a kilo. And we've cut it to bite-sized pieces and uh, washed it, of course. And we're just going to salt and pepper it just a little bit so it has a little bit of uh, seasoning to it before we cook it. And we are using the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And here I have one cup of basmati rice. We washed it really well and we soaked it for about one hour and then we drained off the water. In a pan over here on medium heat we have one tablespoon of ghee. You can use oil if you prefer. And to that we're going to add one teaspoon of jeera or cumin seeds. Allow them to sizzle. To that we're going to add some whole spices. We've got one and a half inch piece of cinnamon stick, one bay leaf, one black cardamom, two green cardamoms, four cloves. Just cook it for just, a, just about 30 seconds. And we're now going to add in one and a half tablespoons of garlic, one and a half tablespoons of ginger, and green chilies to taste. The ginger garlic have been minced. So we cook it for about a minute. We're going to add in one cup of onions chopped. A little bit of salt to help the onions cook faster. Mix and we're gonna cook it till the onions get translucent. So the onions have been cooking for a couple of minutes and they're not only translucent but they've got a little bit of color on them and it's perfect. We're gonna add some dry spices. One teaspoon of cumin powder, two teaspoons of coriander powder, one teaspoon of garam masala and mix. You can also add in red chili powder if you like, but I think our green chilies are good enough. And we're now going to add in the chicken. Mix it. We're just going to toss the chicken around till it gets um, sealed. As you can see, the color of the edges have kind of turned white. That's what you want. Uh, to happen to all of the chicken. So you shouldn't have to see any of the white pieces. It could be uncooked, uh, uncooked inside, that's okay. But the outside should be white. The chicken is all sealed. It's all white on the outside. We're going to now add in about five sprigs of cilantro that we've chopped fine. And mix. We're going to reduce the flame to the lowest. And we're going to add a quarter cup of yogurt that we've beaten and mix. Now what the yoga does is it acts as a tenderizer and it gives us a little more a little tartish uh, flavor to the pulao which is just fabulous. Now we can increase the heat now that the yogurt is mixed in. Back to medium. So it's just been about three or four minutes and the yogurt has created a nice sauce around the chicken and if you break open one of the chicken pieces from the middle you'll see that it's white on the inside that means that the chicken is fully cooked and now we're going to add in the rice we're going to mix it in once the rice is mixed in well we're going to add one and three quarters cup of water we're going to add just a little bit of salt for the rice and once the salt is mixed in, we're going to allow the mixture to come to a boil. So the mixture has come to a boil, we're going to cover it and reduce the flame to the lowest possible. And we're not going to touch it for 15 minutes. So it's been 15 minutes, we have not peaked or touched. We're going to take it off and turn off the stove. And we're just going to take the back end of, the, of a wooden ladle and just kind of fluff it up a little bit. It looks a little moist right now, that's because it's still uh, got to sit and rest for another 10 minutes or so. But in the end, it'll be perfect. Be very gentle when you're doing this, you don't want to break the rice. We're going to add some more cilantro on top. And we're going to cover the pan and let it sit for 10 minutes before serving. So it's been 10 minutes, let's take a look. Oh, it smells so good. 
again very gentle with the rice it is all fluffed up look at it every grain is separate it's not mushed together it's fabulous so our chicken pilau is ready and uh, it smells heavenly over here <laughs> and uh, what you can do is at the end you can put some fried onions on top or some uh, lime juice or lemon juice and it just takes it to a whole new level mm -hmm. a nice freshness absolutely okay. so let's just do that a little bit and mm. absolutely delicious now this is a great dish to make with leftover chicken curry that you have at home you know so that you don't have to go through the whole step the, the whole beginning part of it it's chicken curry it's already cooked you just dry it up a little bit jazz it up with a few more spices and add it in some uh, rice and just take it from there. It's like a cheetah's uh, <laughs> chicken pilau, right? And one recipe, two dishes. So yeah. It's all the better. So let's give it a shot. Mm. The yogurt gives it that slight creaminess without it being very heavy and uh, the flavor has gone into all the rice of the chicken and the spices and oh, it's just fabulous. So great recipe. And if you like this recipe and you'd like to see more from us, be sure you remember to subscribe to our channel. It's completely free mm -hmm. and you'll be the first to know every time we post a new recipe. So enjoy your chicken pilau and join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life. Mm -hmm.